Brett Favre won three MVPs in a row. He, a, a lot of his cards don't even – a lot, not like a lot. Two of his cards didn't break 100 bucks. Yeah. We're talking about Trey Lance who just won Listen, the starting it's job. It's supply and demand, right? It's supply and demand. And you're right. I mean, but here's the thing, right? It's fake, it's fake supply. Here's what, what they do. The, here, I'll, I'll explain what yeah, I mean. Please. They rip right now or they buy right after a break. Okay. Because you don't have the full supply out there because some stuff is still in boxes and it's expensive, it feels like a scarcity of supply. But that stuff's going to be ripped in the next 12 months. And there's going to be all the supply out there. But, I mean, they're numbered. So, I mean, like, you know, Trey Lance Fall is numbered out of 15. If you want to go down the route that there's, you know, there's a million Trey different Lance versions out of 25, 10, Lance. go. Yes, that's a different argument. That is something people have to pay attention to because it's not just out of 15. You know, when you add it up, there's hundreds of it's these probably things. probably out of 499, realistically. Yeah. It's probably out of 499. And there's Brady cards from 2003 that are out of 499, 8s, 9s. That's still for 100 bucks. Yep. No, so, I understand exactly what you're saying. I do. Be careful. Um, be careful. And yeah, just the Favre careful. thing, it's a great, great, great comparison. Favre and the young quarterbacks now. I've read articles. I remember in the last couple of years, I've read articles about um, why are people buying Tesla stock instead of Ford stock? Ford's been around for 100 years. It pays a really high dividend. It's a safe stock. You can make money in it. It's at its, it's, at its lows. It's a great buy. They're making, you know, their earnings are actually earning money. You know, they sell all these cars. They sell so much stuff. And Tesla was at the time losing money, right? And they couldn't even produce cars. And they were basically like, at the time I'm reading this, like talking about how they hope to be able to, in the next quarter or the next two quarters, be able to produce enough cars. They're hoping, a lot of hope. And yet people were paying through the nose at a multiple that, I mean, it didn't exist because they weren't making any money. It was thousands to one, right? Because they weren't even making money. Um, and the, you know, the, the price of earnings was like infinity because they weren't earning anything. But people were buying Tesla stock. Why? First of all, it's human nature, right? People want to be first. We talk about this all the time. And second, people want to be right. And third, it's the difference between potential energy and kinetic energy, right? It's, it's the difference between prospecting on something that has potential upside and something that has really no upside, a capped upside. And what winds up happening there is we've talked about this with Giannis a bunch of times. There's a very big difference between how good someone is and was on the field and the basic economics of supply and demand. And that's what you're seeing in cards. And ultimately, that will change. But right now, there is significant more, significantly more demand for Trey Lance than there is for Brett Favre.